People love sharing quotes on social media and they love visual content. Therefore, quote images are understandably very popular on social media. Posting quotes that are consistent with your brand values can help you build your brand and connect with your audience. Luckily, you don't have to be a graphic designer to make your own quote images to share on social media. There are many free online tools you can use to create images that look great. The one we're going to be using today is PicMonkey. I have a paid Royale account, which is only $30 a year, but you can do most of this with a free account as well. Go to PicMonkey.com and click on Design and then select your size. The size of the image you choose depends on where you want to share it. Facebook images are best when they are square, Twitter is horizontal, and Pinterest is vertical. First, I'm going to add some textures to the background. A cloud one and a bokeh texture. Then I'm going to pick out a filter I like. Now we'll add the text. You want to think about how you can break your quote up so that it's visually exciting and not just one long line of text. The quote I'm using is a Seth Godin one that says, if it scares you, it might be a good thing to try. I'm splitting this up based on where I think there are natural breaks in the sentence. You don't have to get this right the first time, you can always change it as you edit. Now I'm going to go pick out a few fonts that I like. You want a font that is visually appealing, but not too hard to read. Using too many fonts will make your design look messy, so I would stick to two or three at most. When pairing fonts, using two fonts with a lot of contrast will make your images more exciting. For example, I like this tall blocky font with this tiny script font. Use your best judgement to find ones that look good together. You can resize the fonts and align them however you want. Left aligned almost always looks good. Today I'm going to center them. You can keep your design simple and save it as is, or you can also add some stamps to decorate it a bit. PicMonkey gives you a lot of options to add to your design. Lastly, I'll add the author's name and make a few more last minute changes. It's up to you how simple or how decorated you want your image to be. Save your image with the save button at the top. I usually just save it on the recommended setting which is the middle one. And there you have a nice quote image that you can share on your social media channels. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more social how-tos at thesocialhowto.com.